these are quotes from Lothar Matthias. Um, Bayern bosses criminally failed to rejuvenate the squad in time. They repeatedly gave new contracts and ignored exciting talent in the market. Bayern had nine players on the pitch last week who played in the 2013 Champions League final. Wow. <laughs> Many players only think of themselves. Players like James, Lewandowski, Robin, and Ribery. One complains that he plays too little. The other that he gets too few balls. And the third howls out at journalists. That's selfish and disrespectful to the coach, club, and teammates. Especially James. Just because Kovac does not hug him as often as Heinkes did, it does not allow him to react so furiously. And yet he didn't show a reaction when he started versus Gladbach. What I saw from him confirmed to me that Kovac was right to bench him. What's important now is that the bosses speak out and ease the pressure on the coach. Niko Kovac must not assume all the responsibility. What I liked about what Matthias said is that there's a very annoying narrative of we can't blame our idols and the superstars and everything. We must always blame the manager. Now, mm. the manager takes home some of the blame, but let's start, let's change the narrative and actually have some of these players take some of the blame. Because mm. sometimes it may be the manager and the tactics and the strategy. Other times, the guys are just being a brick. And for Bayern, I think, you know, you've got to take some accounts. But look, nine players? Wait, that's five years ago. <laughs> that is, yes. see, that's madness. It, it's an indictment, uh, as he said, of giving older players contracts when there's more exciting talent. Now, obviously the injuries to Coman and Taliso don't help this situation any because you would assume that they might get minutes and play and they could add something different or special to kind of the old guard. But I've always thought that this kind of love affair with Real Madrid and Eden Hazard and players like that, like why aren't Bayern ever in the conversation? Obviously I know they're like a well-run club and they don't mm. just throw hundreds of millions at footballers, but could you imagine Hazard taking over for Ribéry? Like that makes so much sense. Oh yeah, it, it makes more, Hazard at Bayern Munich makes more sense to me than Real Madrid. Now, obviously, he has his own ideas and dreams of playing in Spain or whatever. But like, why aren't they in the Why aren't they in the conversation? Like, See, that's that's the issue. The, the the issue is Bayern Munich. What you praise them for is also one of the things that is detrimental to them, which is that they are very well run. They have high ethics. They won't overspend, and there is a kind of um, professional way in which they want to run their clubs and their contracts. But we're, we're dealing with modern football right now. Sometimes you do need to break the bank. Sometimes you need to go over ahead, and this is still, especially now, because yeah, you could have been very competitive when Robin and Ribery could, could could give those games. You get old. People get get old, and the younger, fitter, much more technical players, they'll get you. So Barnick right now. In a game against a Juventus, a Man City, even a Barcelona, um, or or even a Liverpool, I don't, I, I wouldn't put money on them winning the, the game over two legs. But look, how do you give ba um, Robin and Ribi an extra year, man? Uh, again, again, we have Google. So, how much do you think Iron Robin cost from Real Madrid? Twenty-five million. Hundred <laughs> percent correct. 25 million euros. How much? What? Really? Yeah, man, you got it right. I was laughing because you got it right. Not because you got it wrong. <laughs> um, how much do you think Ribery cost? 15. 25. He cost, so they both cost 25 million euros, according again to wow. our friend Wikipedia. So they spent 50 million euros on Robin and Ribery. Do you think perhaps it could be in still in that kind of Bayern DNA to think like, why would we spend... 80 million on one player when these two legends that we got for relative peanuts in today's money, we can still use them. Like, I think they might be kind of stuck in that 2010, 2012 <laughs> transfer market. And that's the issue. If you don't change within the times, you will get found out. 100%. And I think that for Bayern Munich, you, okay, you, you look at all of the top teams right now. Bayern, I'm sorry, you don't have a little messy. But mm. even Barcelona went and bought all that money for Coutinho and for Dembele. And that's a team that has Messi in their ranks. Okay, look at what PSG did. Juventus, look at what they did to bring in Cristiano because they say, now nah, we need to take things to another level and we need to that's win this. That's the Cup. best example. That's the best example because obviously Cristiano's a brand in and of itself and obviously mm. he's going to make you money outside of it. That's an obviously a different case. But you have two teams in, in terms of Juventus and Bayern Munich who dominate their domestic league. There's mm. no competition for them relatively. 
Bayern have won it, I think, six times in a row. Juventus have seven. It's going to be eight. <laughs> so what Juventus looked at, and obviously Bayern have this thing of like, we've already won the Champions League. So there's not that kind of Champions League carrot almost because they've done it. So, so it's it, 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 but, but, so an, an, an audience need for them to get a player or players to win the Champions right, League. Right, right, right. For because, Juventus, it is. Yeah, because you, you, Juventus need to spend the 100 mil because their whole goal is to win the Champions League, which they haven't done since 1996. Mm. So, you know, it, it's it's different in that aspect because one has a major carrot, the other one might not. But that improves wait, 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 your wait, whole wait, squad. Wait, 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 sorry sorry to, to stop you. Do you know since 96, I think Juve have lost four Champions League finals. Okay, they lost to Madrid, they lost to Barcelona, they lost, they lost to, to East Milan. Milan. Dortmund. They, they lost to Dortmund in 97. Yeah, I just looked. Dortmund beat them 3-1 in 97. <laughs> that is scary, man. I'm not laughing. I'm just laughing, you know. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, it's, it ain't funny, man. That's just scary. So you have four Champions League L's on your record. Like, they're going all out to make sure that they get theirs. And it's improving their squad. It's probably improving their brand. Definitely improving their brand well. Depends on what happens with Ronaldo. But <laughs> but assuming everything is everything, you know, it'll improve their brand, we think. But Bayern, they can just kind of stay in this autopilot flying pattern of just like, we'll win the Bundesliga, we'll win the Bundesliga, semifinal, semifinal. And until something drastic happens, where in which they either don't win the Bundesliga, they, you know, don't get out of a Champions League group stage or get knocked out of the round of 16 or something like that. They're probably just thinking, look, man, we are a well-run club. There's no need to just go out and spend 100 mil on Cristiano Ronaldo or go splash money on Eden Hazard or, you know, try to get whoever the next great young player is. Like, let's just see how long we can ride this 25 million euro yeah, Robin, 25 million Ribery. That's, that's the, the key thing. I think for Bayern, they were like, look, these are the guys in the Bundesliga. Like, they ain't going to do nothing. Still with these players. <laughs> well, well, we can still use these players and still win the Bundesliga. And we can be competitive in the Champions League, but... We don't really need it. It would be nice if we have it, but we don't really need it. As long as we could just keep things at home, it's cool. But now what they're now seeing is that, uh, oh, these teams have actually improved and really want to test us, you know? I mean, there's there's only – you can only steal so many players. Like, <laughs> like you know, you, you can only borrow Goza, Lewandowski. You can only sign Goretzka or Sula or Rudy. You can only get these players, like, so long. And yeah. you can only take so many. So if you just like, oh, we'll see how long Reaper Re and Robin can last. Eventually, there's going to come a season where you're going to struggle. You might still win, but it's not going to be as easy as it once was. No, no, um, no. Mbappe scored four goals in 13 minutes. 